And the receptive awareness is our ability to perceive and respond to internal bodily sensations. It is essential for developing explicit self-awareness and emotional regulation. So for the self-awareness, it involves recognizing our thought patterns, emotions, behaviors, while emotional regulation allows us to express them appropriately. A coherent sense of self is created by connecting our past experiences, present circumstances, and future aspirations into meaningful narratives. And my research aims to understand the relationship between interoceptive awareness, emotional regulation, and embodiment, and narrative identity from autobiographical knowledge. So I wanted to testify this hierarchical model of personality development by examining the cohesiveness or unification of the self through the stories that we tell others about ourselves known as self-defining memories. And we found that individuals with the lower interoceptive awareness had difficulties with emotional expression and regulation and have less cohesive narrative identity from autobiographical knowledge. So the narratives that we create about ourselves are cohesive to the extent uh, and unified to the extent that our meaning creation is realized. And in order for that to happen, emotional resolution, which is an adequate mechanism of emotional processing, is required. Um, I also wanted to investigate the factors contribute to that interoceptive insensitivity and discover that early relational trauma characterized by lack of relational alignment or attunement between infant and caregiver figure or attachment figure is a significant predictor. Um, so the psychological self that develops uh, by experiencing one thoughts and feelings through the mind of another person, any inadequate parental response to um, child's inner experiences deprive them and hinders the development of a lasting sense of self. So emotional regulation difficulties occur when a child cannot create that internal representation of emotional states by integrating physiological processes with reflected emotional displays by attachment figure. And um, our studies show that individuals exposed to early relational trauma and adverse childhood experience have lower scores uh, on different measurement modalities of interoceptive awareness, had the difficulties with emotional expression and regulation, and we found the presence of personal personality discontinuity and less cohesive narrative identity from autobiographical knowledge. Interestingly, those individuals had experience of dis dissociation, which is a defensive mechanism that both protects um, self from self-collapse and obstruct the consolidation of emotionally unprocessed memories that form part of autobiographical knowledge. In conclusion, our research on personality development and early relational trauma has a significant impact on developing preventive programs for our future parents. And by addressing these issues, we can work together towards reducing personality disorders and promoting a healthier society.